Hi everyone, it's Amy with AMG Innovative Consultants. Let's talk about SEO and analytics. Now, this is a blog I originally wrote on February 20th of 2020, and this has been a key to my business um, and really diving in and helping my clients get to root cause issues in their business. Um, it's been a huge factor in getting data and information. So let me explain what SEO and analytics are, and maybe this can be something that helps your business as well. So do you ever wonder why websites use cookies? What are they tracking? What do they do with the data? Websites who use cookies are fine tuning their SEO to meet the needs of their users. SEO or search engine optimization is a major buzz phrase in all industries. If your business uses a website for any reason, you should know the basics of search engine optimization. So what is SEO? According to Moz SEO 101, it is the practice of increasing both the quality and quantity of website traffic, as well as exposure to your brand through non-paid, also known as organic, search engine results. Bottom line, SEO is a technique you use to draw non-paid traffic to your website. Think of it like free advertising. The first steps in setting up SEO, you need to make sure um, all of your pages are based on users. Each page should be unique. The URL should be unique um, and each should have a unique three word description. There are many steps involved, but these are the basics and the keys that search engines use to index your site and match you with the right user. The focus is generally on Google search engines and analytics because in 2019, Google claimed 93% of all organic search engine visits in the US. So what happens once you have SEO set up? How do you determine what is working and what is not? All about analytics. If you set up SEO and have no way to gather and analyze the data, you're not fully using SEO. Each company is different and tracks different information based on their needs. Are you a content site or are you a retail site, e-commerce? So when I set up SEO and analytics for a client and I did the same for myself, I take into account the user. One, I don't allow IP addresses to be collected and I do not know who is on the site. What I do know is how many people visited the site. Uh, I know what pages were clicked on and I know what page people left the site from, um, how users found the website, how many people found the website and left after viewing only one page, your, your bounce rate as Google, is how Google looks at that one. And how many minutes on average a person on, is on your site. Sites based on content versus retail will have, will have different priorities they will need to analyze. So content sites are take all that above information and they will ask more questions. If a person leaves the site on the same page, was the site designed that way and is, is it working properly? Or are people not finding the answers to their questions and give up? How many pages did they go through before they left? You know, did they duplicate pages? What, what did it look like they were doing? You have to try and interpret this information. What is the purpose of the page they left on? Is there a link or video on the page? Is it working? Are these questions that can be, all these questions can be asked when you have the data to work with. Now, retail sites are more focused on products and categories. What products have the highest sell through? What products are people looking at and buying or not buying? What products are not getting any views? Do images help in selling the product? What type of images work better? Analytics can help answer all these questions and more and really help you zero in on your SEO. So no matter what your business is focused on, SEO and analytics can help you drive new customers to your website. I am Google Analytics certified through Google Analytics Academy in all six areas, beginner, advanced, power user, tag manager, data studio, and Google Analytics 360. I can help you get set up with basic SEO and analytics, and this information that can help you discover how to bring in more of that organic search to your website. 
Okay, so I actually, I'm recommending everyone if you want to check out this blog, a lot of the data that I had is actually linked in the blog. So you can check out Moz, check out where I found the, um, the Google uh, information on the stats. All that is listed in the blog if you want to check out my research. Um, and if you are curious about how SEO and analytics can help you get your business to the next level, you know, go to my website, amginnovativeconsultants.com, book a consultation. Let's discuss your business, your needs, and what the problem is you're trying to solve. And we can determine what the investment is going to look like to help you solve your business's problems. All right. Thanks again, everyone, for watching. Comments and questions are appreciated, and I look forward to interacting with everyone. Have a great day.